Okay, we begin. Right. Looking at project planning in the in construction engineering using the bar chart and the CPM diagram. We're applying the two procedures to a footing, right? It's a footing. You look on the chart, you see the footing down here. There's a footing, there's a typical footing, one footing, the second footing. On top of the footing, you have the ground floor slab, then you have the first floor, then you have the roof. Now, in the construction of this footing, you have a couple of activities from A to J. The first activity is you procure the material. Activity B, you clear the site. C, you do the site layout. D, you dig the well. E, you excavate for the footing. F, you do the steel work. G, you do the blinding concrete to level the ground. H, you cast the concrete. And J, you compact the concrete. That, that, these are all the activities involved in constructing a typical footing. Now, let's look at the preceding chart. In the chart, it lists the activities with the anticipated duration and with the activities that have to be completed before you can begin the next one. Now, we we'll begin with activity A and B. We say A and B start the project. A and B start the project. If we can do activity C, you need to complete B. If we can do D, the complete B. If we can do E, you have to complete A and C. If we can do F, you have to do A and C. If we can do G, you have to finish D and F. And if we can do H, you have to finish D and F also. J, if we can do it, you have to finish E and G. And activities H and J and the project. These are activities for the project. This is what we call the precedence chart.